Hello, everybody. Guess what time it is? It's time for High Five! High, high Five! five. High Five! High Ooh, Five! High yeah. like Five, guys! It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> Everywhere we go, it's a beginning Amen. to look a lot like Christmas. Amen. It's a Christmas season. Merry Christmas to you guys. Yeah. Merry Christmas. We want to start by reading from <laughs> Luke chapter 2, verse 10, and you all know this one. It says, But the angel reassured the shepherds, saying, Don't be afraid, for I have come to bring you good news. What? Good news. Good news. Good news. Finally. The most joyous news the world has ever heard. Mm, I believe it. And it is for everyone, everywhere. For today in Bethlehem, a rescuer was born for you. He is the Lord Yahweh, the Messiah. You will recognize him by this miracle sign. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a feeding trough. What an unusual sign <laughs> yeah. to to You think the fireworks. <laughs> yeah. <or this>. <laughs> <laughs> he was born in this palace over yes. here. What an unusual sign they were given and uh, showing the humility and the identity that uh, Jesus was going to have with mankind right from the very moment. Yeah. It's, right? it's almost like... It's not like he was that the Lord was hiding the news or no. hiding Jesus, but he was trying to kind of blow people's minds <clears throat> about the expectations here. He was taking a, a total emphasis off of worldly things, yes, of of worldly expectations, and he was trying to put the emphasis on just the spiritual things, just the kingdom things. Even, even in later life, Jesus said, "Hey, um, you know." Uh, I wasn't, I, my kingdom is not of this world. Amen. And and our kingdom is not of this world, no matter what we are tempted to think. Yes. The good news remains the good news today, just as it did that day when the angels announced it. And it's for everyone, everywhere. Yes. Just like they said. And I was thinking about these two old people who, when Jesus was brought to the temple, they they just looked at him and they said, this is the one. And one of them said, I can go now happily because my eyes have seen my salvation. And even though he is in baby form. Yeah, they recognized him. And so Jesus walked amongst the his people for some years. And some recognized him and some did not. Wow. Some are still waiting for something to happen that already occurred. And some were so religious and had such a alternative agenda that when the God of all hope was born, they couldn't recognize him. Wow. And when the angel said, I bring you good news of a great joy, we have to understand this is the best news. It's not just yeah. news, oh, somebody was born. This is the good news. This is the greatest joy that has ever been. And I've been to many meetings, many church meetings, where the news hasn't been so good. Uh -oh. It's like, oh, God mm -hmm. is judging your sinners, it's you're bad. this, you're that. But the good news is Jesus came to wipe away sin, to get us out of that dark cloud, to translocate us from the kingdom of darkness Amen. into the kingdom of light. Yes. The good news is we're saved. The good news is we're healed. The good news is we're made whole. The good news is we're one with God. That's good news. Amen. Just because God came and was born and came and walked among us. I say let's be absorbed by this good news. Yes. You know, um, remember during Jesus' time, people were so fickle. They, they greeted him at the gate when he entered the city that very last time. They greeted him at the gate and threw palm branches down at his feet and said, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna to the highest. Yes. And, and, and less than two weeks later, they were yelling, crucify him. You, you know, <laughs> yeah. the, the crowd was yelling, crucify him. <laughs> yeah, kind of change him. of opinion here. Well, because, the, because people are so fickle about what they see. Yes. about what they perceive in the natural. And, yes. and, and we're exhorted to have spiritual eyes. We're exhorted to be the people that actually look for the Christ. Most of the people in Jesus's day were not looking for him, and so didn't they didn't see him. him. Yes, they didn't recognize him. I like what it says in the word, all things work together for good for those who love yeah. God and are called according to his purpose. Okay. That was true then when Jesus was born, and it's as true now. In spite of all the things that are going on around you, those circumstances, those those unhappy words do not have the final say. 
But the good news is that for unto you a Savior has come, for Christ you. the Lord. Yes. And I want to tell you, it's the season to understand Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's a season to receive the gift of Jesus. You can do this. All you have to do is open up your heart. I know lots of confusing voices and different things going on in this time. Open up your heart and let's receive the gift that has been given to us. Man, that's Christ what Jesus. I want. That's, that's what I want. Amen. 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 So I want to tell you, receive him Amen. and high five. High, high five, five, everybody. High, high five. five, you guys. High, high five. five. High five.